What's up you guys, John McLennan here and in today's video I want to tell you about how I played a gig with one of these. Now I know I'm late to the party and people have been using these things for a really long time now going direct to PA, but this was actually the first time that I played a gig without an amp. And the reason for that is, is that most of the gigs that I do when I'm playing in town, you bring your own amp and it's not a situation where you're going from venue to venue like in a touring thing where there's so many variables and you just want that same direct sound. You want it to be dialed in and have all your presets. I play a lot of the times with just very little effects. I'm playing clean and I'm playing distorted, maybe a little reverb, little delay, a little trem, maybe a wah. You guys can see my other video. It's called What's on My Pedal Board. And I just go through what's on my basic sort of gigging pedal board that I put together not too long ago. But this thing was a trip to play through. Basically, I went in to the input here, you know, and then we went out we use a quarter inch out into a direct box and that went to the PA. Now I did have uh, my ultimate ears, so I was wearing in-ear monitors and basically the sound man was sending me a mix so I could hear all the other instruments as well as getting my guitar and that was my monitor. Now one of the cool things that I did with this Line 6 and thanks to my friend Sam who actually helped me put this together was we made sounds all the sounds that I would need from my pedal board inside of the Helix. So I was able to basically see my pedals on here and, and turn them on and off, like if I wanted to add reverb or if I wanted to add a solo boost. And I had it all programmed in to presets. The first tone that I wanted to have was a really dry, clean tone for playing funky rhythm like this. A lot of the times with dance bands, that's what I'm playing most of the time is just funky parts like that. Next up, I wanted to add a hall reverb just to give the tone a sense of ambience and fill it out a little bit. From there, I wanted to add a boost pedal for clean solos. It's just starting to break up maybe a little bit. Another tone I love to have is a good country slap delay, so I'm going to add a little bit of compression and a transistor tape delay. I also need a good rock power chord sound or just more overdriven tone. So I'm going to dial in something kind of like a TS-808 distortion pedal. From there, I'd like to also add a little delay with some modulation, kind of like a memory man setting, like the way the edge would use from YouTube. And then the last setting I really need is a high gain distortion, something a little heavier in case the music goes there. Thank you. 
There you go, those were the sounds that I used just for a quick gig with this Line 6 Helix. Let me know, do you guys like plugging in direct? Do you mic up amps? What do you prefer? Let's talk about it in the comments below. Make sure you're subscribed. We've got new videos dropping every single day on the channel. Also, if you're interested in soloing, you can click the link in the description and get a free PDF. It's a book I wrote called Melodic Expressions All About Soloing. You can get that as my gift to you for checking out this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and we'll see you guys in another video real soon.